Ooh, and now recently I transplanted some of my giant onion seedlings using three different types of compost. And the question was, which one would be the best? Well, it's now six weeks later, and I'm going to show you the results. I'm Gang Gang. Welcome to the channel. Gang Gang and Peanut, two peas in a pod. So before I show you the progress of the seedlings, I'm just going to give you a recap. I used three different composts. One was Silver Grow, one was a John Innes number two, and one was Jack's Magic. And each of these composts was mixed up with an equal amount of vermiculite. They were then transplanted into the same size cell tray, and they were all put into my Vitopod under the heat and under the fan. And the results, they were quite different. Let me show you. So I'll start with the seedlings that were transplanted into the silver grow. And as you can see, they are quite green and they look quite healthy. There are five leaves developing on some of them and one or two of them are becoming quite tall compared to the others. The next seedlings are the ones that were transplanted into the Jack's Magic. And they also look quite green. They haven't developed quite as many leaves and they're not quite as tall, but they still look quite healthy. So that's the Jack's Magic. Now the third lot of seedlings that were transplanted were transplanted into the John Innes number two. And as you can see, they are not anywhere as advanced in their growth as those grown in the Jack's Magic and the Silver Grow. And neither are they as tall and they do not have as many leaves developing. Hmm. Now, when it came to watering all of these, they were watered from the bottom using rainwater that was kept at room temperature with a little bit of liquid seaweed feed added in. And the one that was the most difficult to keep and even moisture was the John Innes number two, because it dried out much quicker than both the Jack Magic and the Silver Grow. So the John Innes at this stage appears to be the one that's the least effective of the three. And as you can see, the leaves on these are much paler in colour and nowhere near as developed as the other two composts. Hmm. But that doesn't mean it's not a good compost because the next thing I'm going to do is have a look at the roots on all of these and see which one developed the best root system. So I've taken one of the seedlings from each of the cell trays. One is the Silver Grow. Again, one is the Jack's Magic. One is the Johnny's number two. And they all have reasonable yet very young roots. However, the one that actually stands out is the Silver Grow. It has far more roots, I think, than the Jack's Magic and certainly the John Innes number two. So in terms of root growth, it's silver grow. Hmm. So taking into consideration the colour of the leaves, the size of the leaves, the amount of leaves and which one has the best root system, I think at this moment in time, the Silver Grow is leading the way, closely followed by the Jack's Magic and lagging behind by a considerable way are these, the seedlings grown in the John Innes number two. But I'm going to let these grow on for a while longer in my propagator and see if they do start to catch up. Now I've selected the best two from the ones grown in the Silver Grow, the best two from the ones grown in the Jack's Magic. I've potted them on. And it will be interesting to see how they develop during the next stage. Hmm, watch this space. So overall, I'm quite pleased with how this little test, this little experiment is going. And to show you that it's very important to get the compost right, I'm going to show you my giant onions that I'm growing in my own blend of compost. And here they are. And as you can see, they are much bigger and much healthier than any of those that I'm growing as part of the experiment. And these have approximately seven leaves on them now. 
and they are, well, they're considerably taller. The leaves are much thicker and they're a lovely dark green colour. So getting the compost right when you're growing not only giant onions, but any, any vegetable whatsoever is very important. I'm not going to tell you what my own blend of compost is in this video, but I will do in a future video. This is a very interesting experiment and it's still got a way to go yet. So I'm Gang Gang. This is Gang Gang and Peanut. Two peas in a pod and as ever. Until next time, take care.